for you. Okay. Bottle of beer, please. Sure. Oh, oh, morning, Mark. You right, mate? Fantastic. Yeah, I can take care of that for you. No problem. Let me just... Uh... Actually, um, could you drop that to me in an email, please? Thank you. Bye. Skyvin again. It's my lunch break. As always. Anyway. Pub's quiet. Let's sort the daft old bird out once and for all. I told you, Rosie, we wouldn't say anything behind her back. We wouldn't say to her face. Oh, shit. Where are my manners? Here you go, Grandma. Take a seat. <coughs> Want any nuts? Jesus, Rosie, don't be so rough with her. Rough with her? She can hold her own. Well, not anymore. Well, I mean, not with her physical hands, but if you consider the fact that all the pieces are in there. All right. Get it. Hi. You brought Grandma down. I thought you were going to leave her upstairs. Well, that's what we're going to try and figure out today. But I know she meant a lot to you too, so you might as well join us. So, what are you guys going to do with her? Well, I know for an absolute fact she wants to be put right here in the garden. That was when she was alive, Mark. She literally wanted you to wheel her out back more. No. And I wish you had, quite frankly. She got underfoot. No, seriously. Like, remember last summer when I stayed upstairs after Chloe kicked me out? Which one was Chloe? She was the blonde one. The one with the tiny handbags? Oh, that was Jade. Aw, oh, I miss Jade. I liked her deep conversations about where to get the best wonky veg boxes. She was certainly overly enthusiastic about her vegetables. Got to get you five a day, eh, Mark? Can I finish my fucking story? Anyway, after Chloe kicked me out, I had a lot of meaningful conversations with Grandma and she told me it was her wish to be scattered right here in the garden. No ceremony, no fuss. She did love the flowers outside. What, just like that? Chuck her out back with the cigarette butts? Not near the ashtrays, obviously, but we can get it done now. Just get it over and done with. I think we should wait. For fuck's sake, Rosie. Mum and Dad are not coming over for this. You know it. They might. Mr and Mrs Jones won't visit? More like Mr and Mrs and Mr Jones. Are you talking about Fernando? I do not want to talk about him. He's just their business partner. Who lives with them. Like I live with your grandma. No, no. Not like you live with grandma at all. He's a fucking nudist. Uh... I think you'll find the preferred term is naturist. What's a naturist? It's, um, someone who doesn't feel the cold. Ah, like my uncle. He never used to wear a sweater, not even in winter. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's a lot like that. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that at all. Your uncle was definitely not a naturist. Just ignore Rosie, she's being a dick. Speaking of dicks, have you seen the latest photo that Dad posted of Fernando? Here you go, Priya. Only scroll down if you want to, but you won't need to zoom in much. Oh my. Ooh. He looks so strong. I bet he could pull a pint or two. Just put him away, please. Don't worry. He doesn't have your oceany eyes and cute cheeks. <laughs> Not from the front, at least, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, Mum and Dad have to be here. It's only right. Rosie, if they gave one shit about Grandma, or us for that matter, they would have visited at least once while she was sick, don't you think? The pandemic fucked the flights up, you know this. They haven't visited in over a decade. They've moved on. They're not coming. Well, maybe they just should. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to use Grandma to manipulate them into visiting. That's a great idea. It's they're not coming. I bet my last pint on it. Please. At least Priya loved Grandma. I did. Grandma meant a lot to me. When I came here as a refugee, I had no family to turn to. 
no work, nothing. People used to mimic my accent and laugh at my poor English. I'll never forget what grandma said to me. Her words will resonate my heart forever. What did she say? Bunch of cunts, the lot of them. If any of the grotty little wankers make you cry, you fucking shove them where it hurts. <laughs> That's our precious angel. And then she offered me a job and home here at the pub. I've been taking care of her ever since. I am what I am today because of her. Back in Sri Lanka, we say that Iranda Pinam Migavum Piditta Edirtrikadan Sindradayum, which means the dead soul settles where it loves to be. Then let's just sprinkle her out in the garden. Please. Just give me a couple of weeks to get Mum and Dad over. They'll come back for this. Please, Mark. I'm tired of being the adult here. And anyway, I'm sure they'll have to sort out all the legal documents and paperwork for the new ownership of the pub. That won't take too long. Grandma has left everything I needed. For everything you needed? Yes, for the pub, she's updated me as the new owner. She fucking what? I thought you guys knew. Oh, I knew you'd pull some shit like this. Wait, hold on, Rosie. What are you doing? Wheeling her out back. No, wait. wait You're wait, just upset. Guys, stop it. <laughs> Rosie, what have you done? I'm wearing grandma's it's in my mouth and everything. That's not grandma. That's not ashes. Where the fuck is grandma? Bunch of cunts, the lot of them. 